Hi there friends, Jeb Adams, you knew that. And here I've got the motor brushes. I had recleaned them. And I was just kind of looking at the the marks on the motor brushes with the commutator. There's a bit of a view of them. Anyway, so they're clean now. And what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning this. So how are we going to do that? Well, first, we're going to spray cut, crud cutter all over it. And in here and in here, on here, here, we're going to spray it down on there. And we're always going to hold the motor up this way when we're spraying up that way. We're spraying in here because there's a bearing behind the fan there. And uh, there's another bearing there. So we're just going to be very gentle there as well. And then, of course, there's our commutator. So we're going to wash it well with crud cutter. Ta-da! And ta-da! And then we're going to rinse it in water. Tap water. And this is the first one I've ever done. I'm really excited. So anyway, I'm going to get the gloves back on. And I'm going to get right to work on that. Thank you for viewing, liking, subscribing, and pressing the notification bell. I really appreciate your support because I am entirely self-funded. <sighs> Trying to put, put my gloves on. Sorry about the noise. Maybe I'll edit that one out. <laughs> well, I'm sure there'll be an edit in here somewhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for... So we're going to clean that motor. And then we're going to... We're probably just going to do that. And then we'll get the other part and we'll do it. And we'll do part by part. Remember, I post every day. I publish every day. So... It's not like we're going to forget what just happened last video. Anyway, to make a long story short, and uh, enough yapping on my gloves are on. And I'm going to move the water over there for now. And then I'm going to make some new arrangements here, maybe. What I would like to do is when I, when I spray the... When I spray the crud cutter, there, can I work? I think I can work on that. Okay. So that's pretty good. We got it, uh, I'd say it's pretty soaked, but So I'm just going to let that sit and soak for a few minutes and then I'm going to get this other really piece that's in full of dire dirt. Oh yeah, it's awful. I don't know how much of that you can see you guys, but time to go nuts with this too. Oh baby, that is doity. But, we're not worried about that, are we gang? Because we have new cleaning tools. I'm going to have to post a link to that. So, let's take this and see how this works. Let me move this up here for now. Ooh, well, it is splattering dirt, big time. Let me get something a little more gentle, like this perhaps. Oh, 
So that sure is getting dirty. Okay, picking up all that crud. Well, it looks like it made a difference. We'll do the old uh, cotton swab test. So that's not bad. Oh, that's dirty. So I need to clean in there a little more. And there. And there. And there. So, we'll go back with the cred cutter. Get it on there. Get it on there. Oh, we'll just do the whole thing again. I mean, why? Let me get these wire. <coughs> Okay, what are we going to scrub with this time? I have a toothbrush. Well, let's let's see what we can do now. <coughs> okay. So now I'm just going to Wash that off. Then we'll wash that off. You know what you guys and gals? I want to show you something. You know, I don't know if you remember, look back at how dirty this was earlier. And I never even rubbed it. I just left it sitting in the cred cutter and it's gone perfectly clean. Um, I am going to look for my toothbrush and I'm going to give this worm gear a scrub with the brush. You know, I really like working in the kitchen when you're doing this messy stuff. It's a lot better than, you know, sitting at the workbench with blue garbage, recycling garbage bags all over the place. Yeah, and see there's gunk. Well, maybe that's just coming off my hands now. But, uh, and then we're just gonna go up here. You know, where it is, where's this one again? Let me wash him off a little. Will that wash off? Let's see. Yeah, it's washing a bit. I think, you know, when I'm done and I wash it with soap and water, I think it'll be fine. But for now, I just want crud cutter on it. Don't I, my friends? Are you having fun? Are you having fun liking, subscribing, and all that stuff? Yeah, me too. I subscribe to a lot of channels. Let me know if you have a channel. I'll go, I'll, you know what? I subscribe to channels, and then I check them out. Um, I don't check them out every day, because I subscribe to a lot of channels. <coughs> okay, so that one's ready to be dried. We're going to go back here again. And I'm going to use my fancy, my basic bottle washer. And this is good for getting down there.
Oopsie Daisy. There. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing, folks. There's a little bit of that old tape that fell off. That's no big deal. We're still in business. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my wet glove off before I grab the hair dryer. And I'm going to get this and I'm going to dry it for about four or five minutes. High heat, low blow, and the same with this. Going to dry them each for about three or four minutes. They have to be bone dry. So I'm going to turn it off here. I'll, uh, when I start up again on part three or the third uh, video, uh, those will be dry and we'll, we'll continue along with starting to assemble the motor. Uh, thanks again. I appreciate your support. Uh, have fun. Stay safe. Keep safe. Ciao.